This particular piece is one which, in fact, has many of the elements that you will see of late career. Renoir would tape actual paintbrushes to his hands because he had such arthritis when he painted. Many of his paintings got much smaller by the end of his career. He dies in 1919. This is dated 1918. It's oil on canvas. It's the correct, of course, form. It also is correct in terms of how it has been cut down. He actually did not cut it down, but he just basically gave you this portion, not a full bust-length portion. It comes from a prestigious collection, which we can trace other objects in the collection, which is how I would authenticate it. But everything looks right so far. I want you to look at the nails. It is the original stretcher from 1918. So it's not his 18, 9, 1870 to 1890 mature period work. It's late career work, but still very, very valuable. This particular piece would have a low appraised value at about $100,000 and a high appraised value at about $200,000. What did you pay at the estate sale? Who made the big mistake? Everybody who did not buy that made the big mistake. Right. I paid two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Oh, wow. Because because the auctioneer said it wasn't real. I don't think it. I do think it is real. There'd be much more information that we'd have to get, much more scrutinizing that we'd have to get for it. It's not only about the signature, it's about the provenance from the family, it's about what's written on the back, there's lots of information on the back, maybe the auctioneer didn't bother looking, and it is easier for them to just get rid of it, thinking that it's not something, as opposed to doing all the work, research and such, to actually authenticate it. If it is authentic, and many of the, many of the information here is pointing toward it being authentic, it's worth several hundreds of thousands, but I would say, Conservatively, between $100,000 and $200,000 to start. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. Wow. Now, his mature works, works from the 1870s, those great landscapes, or you probably know city dancing and country dancing from the MFA collection in Boston. Those pieces are worth, of course, multi-millions. Yours is not. Still a good reason to drive down here from, from Rhode Island to Virginia Beach, right? Yes. Yeah, I would disagree with that auctioneer, but you don't know what his background is. Maybe he doesn't know anything. It was, it was in a really bad frame from the 70s. It was, the back was covered. Nobody saw the back. I was Nobody saw, time. so the back was covered, yeah. so they didn't take the time to rip off the back. Nobody, nobody did. Yeah, well, that's problematic because somebody basically said, you know, we're not going to do enough work to basically do any of the research, but we're going to take, they took a percentage of that $275. So you've got to watch when it comes to the estate sale folks and anybody who's selling these objects for you. You have to know what you have. It's your responsibility, ultimately. That's very exciting. My heart doesn't do a little jump like that very often. <laughs>